Hey guys, this is going to be a stinky video. That's right. This video is going to stink because we are going to be talking all about our new mascot, Stinky. Listen up, people. This is serious. My job depends on it. Two old geezers with a YouTube channel. Rick converted his cargo trailer into a camper and they travel around with it. Karen's favorite YouTube channel is The Y Files. Very successful channel. It has almost 2 million subscribers. In this life. Hecklefish is on there and he's probably the star of the show. Sorry, AJ. Right. But Karen wants to bring on a mascot like Hecklefish. I'm not in Hecklefish's leg, but... I try. I could eat them right up if I wanted to, but I'm a vegetarian. Besides, I think I have a little fish crush. I can't help it. Heck, he's so cute. So I'm auditioning trying to get this part. And can you believe somebody unsubscribed to this channel because of that silly skunk? How rude. So I need to know. Put in the comments, yes, Stinky stays, or no, Stinky goes. Let's take a vote. I need a job. The inspiration for Stinky came from my favorite YouTube channel, which is The Y Files. And there's a sidekick on the show or co-host called Hecklefish. He's an animated goldfish and he just cracks me up. He's hysterical. So I thought, well, maybe we could have a sidekick like that. And I thought, well, what kind of animal would be good with us camping? And I asked Rick, so we said a skunk. Yeah, so the story is definitely evolving as we go, and, and I find that that is one of the really fun things about doing this. Funny thing about Stinky is not everybody likes Stinky, okay? And very early on, I think the first episode I introduced Stinky, he was, the character was, he's this skunk, and he's like this annoying little kid who is always, when you're busy doing something, he's just a constant distraction. So, and I want to read up on them. Blah, okay. blah, so blah, blah. Gonna, Come on, guys. I'm hungry. I'm thinking it's Yosemite Remember? That hungry. That's how he was introduced the first time. And then he's got a, a weird voice, I guess. And it, it could be annoying. Rick says it's annoying anyway. So, anyway, not everybody likes him. Okay. And one of the first comments we had was, oh, no, not that stupid skunk. And he, he hated it. And I said, well, some people really like him. And then um, when I did another video with, with the skunk, he said he um, unsubscribed because he saw the skunk. But the So he does various things. Stinky, what are you doing? You said it was a ghost town, so I want to be Ghostbuster. He's the one line cracker and busting on people. We may be looking for corporate sponsors for our trip. I have an idea. How about poopery or some kind of air freshener? One of you guys really lit the trailer up with that little bucket thing the other night. I'm just saying, I do all my business outside. So one of you guys really stunk the camper up. Him and Rick seem to butt heads a lot. Cool beans. I've never been out west either. Is he really coming with us? No, that's just rude. You know, he's he's a buster. He's a real ball buster. He really is. Look, Sharon is 62 years old. She doesn't know how to do this crap. She's lucky she knows how to turn the damn computer on. And even if she does remember how to turn on the computer, she forgets how to do everything. Seniors on YouTube. Ugh! Stinky has a crush on Hecklefish. I'm so hot for you, I'm so hot for you, I'm so hot for you, but you're so cold! What the hell is this? Stinky! Yes? Were you playing with my phone? Uh, uh what, do you, what do you mean? So hot for you. I'm sorry, I was playing around with it. I was trying to make that for Hecklefish. I have a little crush. Stay off my phone, please. Okay, I will. In the last video, we talked about how we found him. Yeah. Stinky, where did you even come from? Oh, I stowed away in the camper over the winter when it was cold. I used to live under the shed, but Rick, this is a nice upgrade. Well, thank you, Stinky. I'm so glad you approve. I mean, I, Hecklefish has his own channel, even. So that's how popular he became. And like I said, there's, there's one Hecklefish I, I would think it would be hard for someone else to have that much popularity but I do think there's room to grow with it merchandise opportunity a lot of the things that they sell is 
is related to Hecklefish and the sayings that he says. So I just thought that was a brilliant move. You know, so I started trying to give Stinky some lines that would stick, like, um... This really stinks. Oh, you got a lot of shit here. Um, excuse me, that's word But anyway, that's the whole concept, and I'm really trying to build it. Until I get a lot of comments, I'm just going to go with it, okay? Because their views are kind of not that great anyway, so... And that's the reason I, I wanted to bring him on. I really thought he could help with the views. And I and I do still think that he could help with the views. Maybe I need to tweak the voice a little bit. The lips, I don't know how to fix the lips. And we made a joke about that. Well, I left it unfixed. I mean, I could probably hire somebody, an animator, to, to fix that. But in a way, I think this is the, Stinky's trademark now is those big, weird-ass lips that don't belong there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me you like them. Tell me you hate them. Whatever it is. So anyway, that is the story of Stinky. He's snarky. He's sarcastic, but he's very lovable too. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like their videos.